Everything is efficient now. <laughs> Everything is so efficient now. <laughs> I remember that was my dream. You know where the problem is? What is the problem? Hello hey guys. guys. So we've got a bonus surprise video this week. Since Stella just recently turned one, I wanted to kind of reflect on what it's been like for the past year, how our relationship has changed, what it's been like to be mom and dad now and not just husband and wife, and just kind of some thoughts, tips, and advice that we might have. Uh, because we definitely got a lot of that from some of our friends who were first-time parents. We thought it'd be helpful to share it with you as well. The biggest question that I see a lot for Montessori families is how did you get your partner to agree? Or what is it like to have a partner who hasn't known about Montessori before? Your understanding of Montessori before you met me was... I was aware, you know, about Montessori. It exists in the world, but I, I had no idea what it is. What was it like when I asked you? Let's do Montessori with So compared to Korean traditional education system, Montessori is completely 180 degree different system. Mm -hmm. Korean system is more like basically teacher teach something and then as a student you just have to accept. Mm -hmm. But Montessori stimulate more you know curiosity and then become more creative human being. Realize you know, like when I was looking for a job after graduation, whenever I prepare any job interview questions, you know, like I was not really creative. I was trying to memorize you know, like best case scenario answer and then try to repeat it and just becoming one of the you know like typical job seeker. So oh yeah, Montessori is the way that we need to you know, like raise our daughter. So despite knowing that though is it easy to do Montessori? It's not, it's not easy. It's really difficult. <laughs> and I would say even though I know Montessori more than you, or I have more a bit more experience with Montessori than you, I would say it's still not easy. I'd, I'd say even if you know the theory, application is never easy for pretty much anything, right? What's the hardest thing for you personally? But when Stella is playing, she tried to like explore new stuff every single day, mm -hmm. but then that creates a lot of mess and I cannot see like like huge mess. <laughs> so I never knew this about you until we had Stella and you would go crazy because there is like toys everywhere and she hasn't had a chance to clean up with me yet. And obviously the older she gets, the more of a mess she creates. She's like a little tornado right now. She's working on learning how to put things back. She actually really tries and she wants to. So that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a child who's trying but you're just seeing the mess. <laughs> and that, that's something that's really hard to rewire because that's traditionally what you would see is a mess and we need to clean the mess. The hardest thing, in my opinion, is when Stella grabs something that she shouldn't touch or, I mean, she can touch but she shouldn't eat, then my immediate reaction is, no! And then I immediately take it. That pisses her off uh, all the time. Because she's getting possessive of her toys and whatever she's exploring around you. She's a completely different person with me. If she finds something on the ground, like a small speck or like a leaf fell, she'll pick it up and she'll go and say, here, 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 in Russian, and she'll try giving it to me. And if I don't react fast enough, she'll try eating it. But she does give me that chance to take it from her and say, thank you, and then we throw it out. And because I give her that chance to show it to me and then say thank you as I take it, she's not possessive of it. She's okay with me taking it because she thinks she chose to give it to me. That, that, that is the one that will take it, so I need to eat it faster. Yeah, I should prepare a little more. I thought, okay, now I know the theory, I can teach Montessori, but you know, my body is not used to it. So that's the hardest thing. You know where the problem is? What is the problem? Montessori is not something you teach. <laughs> Montessori is something the child discovers. Oh, right? that's very important. That, that, you that, see, that, even this one, my, my mindset is complete. Korean <laughs> traditional way. I would like to pivot towards how our relationship has changed after having a child. We went from being boyfriend and girlfriend to husband and wife to mom and dad in the span of what, seven years? And something that my coworker, who was closer to my parents' age, always told me almost every single day for the year that I worked there, Oh, it must be so nice to live in America. All the Western men are so different. They always help. They help to cook, they help to clean. They're so different from the Korean husbands. There's obviously going to be Western men who also don't do anything. Like it's it's not always a cultural difference, but obviously it's con Confucianism, right? The older the better. And if you're a man, obviously you trump all. Yeah. Even now, people still have their mindset. 
So it's really deeply rooted in the Korean culture, but there's a lot more people before COVID that were traveling to like study abroad and work abroad. It's become, I think, more common for men to have your mindset, which was, okay, I've seen how this works. I would like to be different. Help me learn how to cook. Help me know what you need help with. I would like to help you. So I think you're one of the people that's really like working to break that stereotype, which is amazing was, to see. I was, originally I was really lazy human being, but then- well, Humans are naturally lazy. Yeah, humans are <laughs> naturally lazy. In terms of being lazy, when we first got this house, we thought we were working pretty hard, having a good balance of getting stuff done and also relaxing. And now mm -hmm. when I think back to that year before Stella, when we had this house, I think we were the laziest people on this earth. We got Super nothing lazy. done. Super lazy. We would spend most of our weekend sleeping and then working out and then making a really fancy brunch. And by the time we got our day started, it was like 4 p.m. Right now when it's 4 p.m. Your day is over. Your day is over. After breakfast, everything is efficient now. Everything is so efficient now. <laughs> Number one tip. We haven't talked much about the tips specifically. So other than like getting on the same page in terms of whether you're doing Montessori or not, and making sure that you both at least have a solid understanding and are on the same page of what that would look like in your house. Um, I would say either dividing up the housework if that's not something you do already, or making a plan of what that would look like because one person is not going to be able to do it all. Naturally, I think once you have a baby, people start fighting more. And your coworker gave you really good advice before Stella was born. You, you don't have time to fight. Yeah, his best advice is you don't have time to fight, don't do it, <laughs> which... Don't even try. But you do need to talk and have that conversation. Yeah, sometimes you still fight, in that case, you need to make up immediately. So what works well for us is if we get slightly aggravated by anything, we acknowledge like, okay, you are feeling a strong emotion, I am feeling a strong emotion, we're going to put Stella to sleep and then we will come back and we will discuss. And that gives us also a chance to calm down and we just talk about it as a conversation. We've also learned to be more lighthearted. Making each other laugh has been a good way to just calm each other down because we both understand why we're potentially getting upset. And the way you're trying to be understanding of your child's emotions, don't forget to be understanding of your partner's emotions too. It's very important. Mm. Final tip, find time to still be a couple. When you were in Korea, you know, like everything open 24 seven, after work, like your second day begins pretty much and work ends at like 8 or 9 p.m. for you yeah in Korean you know work culture is really tough I would get a call Friday night at like 8 p.m. like hey I'm finally done I'm coming up to Seoul I'll be there in an hour or two let's go watch a movie so at 10 p.m. on a Friday we're going out to watch a movie we obviously didn't do that in the States it was definitely like a very us centered lifestyle because of COVID we haven't felt comfortable going anywhere with Stella either which means we were just all we can do is be in this house. And for the first few months, we kind of let that become a routine of all we're going to do is take care of Stella and stay in this house and that's it. And I think that was that was a really difficult couple of months. It was really tough. And I, could, I couldn't sleep. Well, other than not sleeping, for our relationship it was a really <laughs> tough couple of months. I mean, it was... Even, like, even, even like when eating, you know, we had to eat separately. Oh, I will eat, you take care. Right. And we're, we're a couple that we did everything together before, like we would go grocery shopping together. We worked in the same company, so we went to work together, <laughs> like we were together all the time. So even to have dinner separately was really strange and we completely had no time for our relationship. Luckily, we built a very strong relationship, so we knew that we still love each other and we care for each other. But I think if we had taken just five minutes instead of sleeping, just five minutes to like be together and even watch a YouTube video or just talk, we probably would have just felt psychologically a lot easier those first few months. Because we started doing that around, I think when Stella was six or seven months and her sleep patterns really stabilized. We would sit down and oh my goodness, we could watch a YouTube video, like a full YouTube video without being interrupted. I remember that was my dream is that we can start doing that again. And just taking that time to be together and remember that we are still two people, we are still a couple, we're not just mom and dad. I think that's really important. So if you're about to become a new parent or you're already a parent to a little one, and maybe he or she is a similar age as Stella, we hope we provide at least some insights or made you feel not so alone. And until next time, stay safe. Mm.